Amy, congratulations on this film. Thank you. So intense. It really is. I literally found myself not breathing for really long periods of time while I was watching it and then having to remind myself. Have you gone back and watched it since you've made it? Yes, I've seen it. I have seen it. Did you find yourself doing similar things? Obviously you're oh, not absolutely. in no, I'm every not, part. I'm not in, it was, it was wonderful to get to see that part of the movie. I mean, I'm, I have to imagine it, that mm. part of the movie sort of through the process of, of my character, through the eyes of my character, but to get to see it was just amazing and, and really, um, very harrowing, nerve-wracking. Oh my yeah. God, completely. Terrifying. Is it weird for you? For years there's always been this Isla Fisher, Amy Adams. I loved be... it, are you kidding? Well, Isla I and you... I talk about it all the time. We <laughs> thought it was the best thing ever. Is it not weird now to be in a film with no, her? No, it's fantastic. And I guess it proves that we are two different people. Oh, yes. So there you go. Uh, she's fantastic. No, I loved that idea um, when I heard it. I was like, that's the best idea ever. It's genius. One of the uh, weird things I found was the, the compliment which uh, he pays you, or Edward pays, is that you have sad but beautiful eyes in, in the film. Like cow is, eyes. Well, well that's what, I don't know. That's I was what say I say <laughs> that he has. <laughs> I was going to say, have you ever had weird compliments like that before? Are you kidding? All the time. Really? All the time. What kind of thing? I always get that people are like, this is silly, and I'm not, I know I'm not all wrapped up in how I look, but it's always funny when people are like, oh my gosh, you're so much prettier in person than you are on camera. And I'm like, not, I think that's a compliment or not, but it's fine, like either way. But I'm always, it, those are funny compliments to me, or like yeah. when they're like, oh my gosh, you're so, you're so much smaller than I expected you to be. And I'm like, <laughs> I, yes, I guess did. maybe I don't photograph that well, but that's okay. I've managed to make a career of it, so I'm okay with it. I would argue against no, that. No, 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 um, it makes me laugh. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's that, yes. that uh, two-handed compliment that you can read. But, but I choose to see the positive, so I, I'll take any compliment. <laughs> I'm 42. Like, I'm good. I'll take oh any compliment. God. Yes, you're Thank insane you. for that. Obviously, Susan is so captivated by this book that she's obviously been yeah. sent by her ex-husband. And I think that's the great thing about books and even films. You just you lose yourself in them and you relate to certain bits and things. Has anything ever done that to you in a similar way? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that's what kind of drew me into sort of the, perform the performance arts to begin with is um, watching, um, listening to music, um, going to see musicals, that kind of thing, seeing stage productions. That's the thing that sort of captivated, captivated me to begin with is like sitting in a dark place and watching something happen and being able to sort of leave your own reality outside for a while. That's I also read an, like a very strange amount as a child so reading's <laughs> always been, yeah my siblings would tease me relentlessly because I would just read, my friends would tease me because I, I kind of like, I guess books were my my uh, iPad or my mm -hmm. iPhone, like what an iPhone is now to kids is what books were to me because I just Wherever I went, I brought a book and just read. Been in training your whole life for this I, film, exactly, then. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I have read, yes. And what is it like, compared, because obviously you've done so many films now, what's it like working with Tom, who's come from his fashion designing background, to a guy who's only now on his second film? I mean, it's really like working with any really talented, good director. I mean, I once you sort of let go of the idea of Tom Ford as a fashion designer or fashion I mean, icon or, you know, uh, then it's really, he's, he's a wonderful director and he's really wonderful to work with. So um, I, for me, I had to let go of, of sort of the idea that he was uh, looking at me like I was supposed to look a certain way, you know? Like, I think yeah. this is normal for people who get around Tom. Yeah. I hear this a lot where people are like, oh, what'd you wear to the first meeting? And the I truth know. is, <laughs> is I actually had to run to my stylist because I was like, I don't have anything pressed or clean like that I could wear with Tom. So uh, I had to run and borrow some clothes <laughs> from my, my stylist, which is lovely that I have a stylist yes. that I can do that. but. I don't, yeah, but I, I felt was, the same. So. Yeah, I was really, really self-aware. And then once I got over that and we started talking about film, all of that fell away and I really became very comfortable and, and uh, he's very warm and engaging. Well, it looks like it just worked because this film just turned out so well. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. And Thank you. I didn't know what to expect, but it was I know, it, it really great. is unexpected yeah. and people are really responding, so it's wonderful. No, congratulations on it, Amy. Thank you. Lovely nice talking to you. Take Be care. well. Hi. Oh my God. Hey! Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh.
I'll just leave it at that. I wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on your teeth.